So you release the antacid into here, it expands. That expansion of gas pushes water out of this one into here, and whatever volume we get in here is how much gas was produced by the antacid. Ain't it great? I love it. Let's do it. There's more than enough water to make this work. Jamie pulls the quick release magnet, and they're off and bubbling. Look at that. It works. And they've got a result in seconds. So it looks like one pill produces about 75 milliliters of gas. Yeah, about 80. Well, now my question would be, do two pills displace 160 milliliters? Does it scale perfectly linearly? Double the gas from double the pills would make sense, but science is rarely so simple. Wow. The volume of gas produced scoots past the 160 mark and continues to climb. This one's looking like 275. To see if the trend continues, the next logical step is to try four pills. Double the two pill result would be 550 mils of displaced water. And before long, Janie's wishing he'd brought a bigger beaker. It's actually going more than... More than double. It's clear there's CO2 aplenty, but the myth depends specifically on the pressure the gas generates. So that's what they'll measure next. Testing pressure in three, two, one. Look at that. They start over with one tablet, and again, the results come quickly. What are yeah. we getting there, 1.9, two PSI? Yeah, it's about 1.9, just a hair under two. Now for a mini moment of truth to see if pressure, like volume, increases exponentially. All right, two tablet pressure test. If the pressure just doubles, the two tabs will fizzle at four PSI. Both pills are still going, both tablets are still bubbling. Two PSI is roundly passed, two and a half PSI is on its way. Two and a half PSI handily passed by the both tablets and now rounding up on three PSI. Three PSI, will we get three and a half PSI? Three and a half, anyone for three and a half? Yes, both pills seem to want to go to three and a half PSI on our way to four. Four PSI, four PSI. Go, go, yes, passing four PSI, the expected linear expansion rate of the two tablets and it seems that their expansion rate is in fact exponential.